All right. Still progressing from after the statutory requirement. Now we look at the appointment. Appointment requires the appointment of the right person in the right position for the right purpose. So when it comes to appointment, who can be appointed as an auditor? That question of who can be answered from this appointment perspective. Person qualified to be appointed as an auditor. The requirement for a person qualified to be appointed under the company's ordinance includes a person qualified to be appointed under section 393 subsection 1 of the company's ordinance. A person shall not be appointed as auditor of company unless he is qualified to be appointed as auditors under the professional accounting accountants ordinance. So we are saying any any person who is supposed to qualify to become an auditor should be somebody who has been approved, appointed by the professional accountants ordinance. B. Person not qualified for appointed appointment as an auditor under section 393.2 of the company's ordinance. Number one, an officer or an employee of the company or its subsidiary and holding companies. So any bad person who has been employed in that company which has to be audited or any person who is to be employed in that very company is not permitted, has no right to become an auditor or any person who has been employed in a subsidiary or holding company should not become an auditor. Number two, a person who is partner or partner of or an employee of the officer or an employee of the company or its subsidiary and holding company. So these are people who are not mandated to become auditors. So any person close to a partner or an employee of an officer or employee of the company or a subsidiary or holding company is not, has no right to become an auditor. A person shall be qualified to be registered under professional accountants ordinance as a certified public accountant. CPA if the council of HKI CPA satisfied that he or she one has attained the age of 21 years and is of good character and is fit and proper person to be a CPA so any person who has attained the age of 21 years can qualify to become a CPA can qualify to become an auditor. So meaning that you cannot become an auditor when you are under 20. B. Is a student or a member of certified public accountant. A registered student of HKICP and has passed the examination required. Two. A member of accountancy body which has a mutual or reciprocal recognition agreement with HKICPA and his or has complied with all conditions for the recognition and full exemption was granted. 3. Registered as a professional accountant at any time before the re relevant day. So it must be a registered accountant has fulfilled the practical experience prescribed by the council of public or certified public accountant so it is very important to have this in mind you will never become an accountant you will never become an auditor when you have no 
professional background of accounts. So it is your it is very important for anybody to become an accountant. There are rules and regulations which must be followed. Appointment procedures. How auditors are appointed. Appointed by members at annual general meeting. That is section 396. So section 396 states the procedures which will be followed during the annual general meeting. A. Every company is required to appoint an auditor for each financial year by resolution passed at the AGM. So a resolution should be reached during the annual general meeting for the company. B. If the director fail to appoint the first auditors before the first AGM of the company, the company may appoint an auditor in general meeting. So if the company never appointed auditor during the AGM, then during any general meeting, an auditor should be appointed. The company may fail any casual vacancy in the office of auditor in general meeting. So there are general meetings which are normally all or held by the directors or board of directors. So at such a meeting, this is very important. They can appoint an auditor, the vacancy in the office of auditor. Appointment by director. So appointment by members. And then number two is appointment by members. Section 396 states how the appointment can be undertaken in the event of appointing an auditor. Appointment by directors to fill casual vacancy. That is what is required as far as directors are concerned. B. If the directors have not done so with, within one month after the casual vacancy occurs, the members may by resolution pass at general meeting appoint a person to fill the casual vacancy. Then finally, appointment by code. That's section 398. Where at any at AGM of the company, no auditor is appointed or reappointed. The code may, on the application of any member of the company, appoint a person to fill the vacancy. So these are the procedures to be followed in the event of appointment of directors. Appointment of directors. Number one, members can appoint. That is section 396. Number two, directors can appoint. That is section 397. Number three, code can actually do the appointment. That is according to section 398.